Some things that you can do on your own to help protect yourself. Uh, unfortunately, they're not free, but Identity Guard and LifeLock are really great tools to help protect you. Uh, I believe LifeLock now has a feature that if your information shows up on the dark web, you get an alert about it. So you can be like, woohoo, I can go to sleep at ease. Um, which is usually just somebody posting like a username and password of, of an account you used to use. Uh, have I been pwned.com is a really neat website that will monitor, again, the dark web, or the deep, the, the dark web, about what's occurring uh, in terms of breaches that get announced with files and how those, how those might impact you. It looks like this. Uh, and so you'll get an alert every time something gets sold or every time they, they notice something on the internet and what that, what the attack was, when it occurred, some history about it, just so you can have an understanding. And I messed up once and I had the same password for everything um, when I was a child. And so some of, my, some of the tools that I used had the, all the same password and one day all of a sudden I got an alert from Walmart uh, that I, I logged into because that was the password I made at the time. Uh, because another website, which was MySpace, the passwords were released, and I used the same password for MySpace as I did for my Walmart account. So that's why having the same password is bad, because they would just, tr any hacker, if they have a list of passwords, they would just try that password on all the common websites in the world, because that's what, it's easy. Um, and password management, uh, so lastpass.com, it's free. Don't, again, don't write your passwords down, have a different password for everything, and you should be set. Uh, the other one is Google isn't always your friend. So when you, when you Google things such as like I want to download Firefox and you hit download Firefox, sometimes that first link is in Firefox and it's somebody's other website. So always be careful for when you're Googling. Dual factor authentication helps add a step to your own security. So let's say you do love using the same password for everything. At least do this. So when I log into like Gmail or Amazon, uh, I'll get a prompt or PayPal saying, hey, I just sent you a text with this key on it, type it in. Or I use an app called Google Authenticator that does the same thing. Uh, and this adds an extra layer of protection. So if they get guess your password and they're not holding your cell phone in hand, you might mitigate them from still being able to log in. How many of us like to online shop? Well, like seven of you? Okay, cool, you guys are awake. <laughs> um, Privacy.com. Really neat tool, and it gives you a credit card that doesn't impact your credit score, doesn't do anything like that. It just gives you a credit card number that will work on most websites. So if Amazon gets hacked again, or hacked, uh, Home Depot gets hacked again, Target, whatnot. So now all my shopping websites, I have a digital credit card for that ties to my bank. So if I ever see, all of a sudden see like a transaction, it alerts me every time there's a transaction, I can go, hey, I don't have to worry about it, I'll just deactivate the card. And I, don't now, I no longer now have to go log into all my other stores to update credit card information. I just delete the card and add a different one. 